what is going on there guys collider truth here and boom you get turned on son <laughs> welcome to some more battlefield 3 and today i've got a very exciting game of conquest on damavan peak or damavan peak however you uh, wish to say it depending on where you're from it was a, a really really exciting match i uh, didn't expect it to end this way i was using uh, this gameplay to kind of record for the uh, the Russian versus U.S. Weapons Episode 2, the Engineer class, because I am using the AKS-74U. Got Suppressor, a PKA Holographic Scope, and Foregrip on it. And I think I got the Rex as my sidearm. I actually didn't even mean to. I meant to have the uh, G18, but for some reason I had the Rex at the moment. But uh, that's what I was using this for. But uh, this gameplay was so good that I thought I would go ahead and post it uh, anyway, because as you can see right now, we are we're triple capped. We've got no flags. Our tickets are dropping incredibly fast almost like a, a, a ticket a second maybe it's like a one and a half seconds that every time you uh, lose a ticket if you're triple capped or all capped so it was uh it was looking pretty gloomy for us i kind of thought everyone on our team was gonna grab a sniper rifle just sit back in our spawn go find a tower or a hill and just you know just snipe and try to get some kills and i don't know I, it really bugs me when guys do that because generally it's me and if i'm playing with uh some of you guys out there, you all as well, kind of our squad is uh, is the only ones pushing forward to take objectives and actually try to uh, win the game. And sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, I've got like this uh, this dry part of my throat, I think it's starting to, uh, to kind of become inflamed, so hopefully it doesn't get any worse. But uh, it is bugging me a little bit, so if I kind of stop uh, talking for a second or so, it's just because... I've kind of, you know, it's really dry, and uh, kind of the saliva helps, uh, I don't know, loosen up, or makes it feel a bit better, and uh, also my nose is starting to drain, which is just a pain, but uh, uh, whatever, you gotta deal with it, you just <laughs> can't complain, so we're gonna, we're gonna push on with this. Alright, so our team has taken the Charlie flag, and uh, we're gonna move up towards Bravo, making sure we do this kind of as a team, you don't want to run... Uh, don't want to be the Lone Ranger here and just try to be the hero and go capping a lot of stuff because generally if the, you do it by yourself and you have no backup in Battlefield, that's usually not a good thing, even if you are an exceptional exceptional player. Basically, I wouldn't do that unless you are uh, kind of one of the best, So, and I am by no means a really good player. <laughs> There's a few guys out there that uh, that play Battlefield that could get away with it, but uh, it's always good to have backup, especially if you are moving through tight corners. Always let the other guys go ahead of the assault so the assault can take them out and uh, revive the, uh, the dead allies back up so you can keep more of your team alive. All right, so taking this Bravo flag, although we do have a tank here, which is uh, a bit of a nuisance, and... Uh, Thankfully, during this round, our tank, I don't think it dies too much. I think it comes close to it, but uh, um, I, I try to keep the tank alive. I repair it basically from zero to full health, like once or twice, and it really does help at our team, and uh, especially on this map when the tank is uh, the most threatening vehicle. It's good to uh, keep it alive as opposed to other maps where generally like your helicopters, and, uh, and uh, that's really about it. Not many... Uh, not many vehicles are more powerful than a helicopter, but uh, on the, this map, uh, Dam of Peak, the tank is probably the most important uh, important part of your uh, of your team to keep intact. Even if you maybe have uh, you know lost a few infantry guys on uh, you know one section of the map, I wouldn't really worry about uh, reviving them or anything like that. Just kind of keep your tank alive because your tank is a huge, huge threat to an enemy team and can also basically provide a lot of cover and protection for uh, for your team teammates excuse me my voice just like gave out right there <laughs> all right so the enemy did take bravo our team has come back to cap it and i think we're down like a hundred tickets or something right now i mean it's it's pretty ridiculous by no means should we have won this match i mean we had all odds against us they were pushing us back to our spawn i don't know if the uh, if the best players on their team got bored and left or something but uh it was just kind of weird they, I don't know, either they all left or our team just kind of grew a pair and said, you know what, we're going to go we're gonna go win this game. So it was uh, quite uh, quite fun to play. You kind of just 
watch uh, their ticker, their ticket count just start to drop, and ours, you know, was dropping, but not nearly as slow, so it was just kind of like, come on, come on, let's at least try to get to an even amount. But uh, they did try to go take Bravo. Once again, our team did a great job of uh, coming in and recapping the flag. It's always just important when, see, when you're losing a flag, you know, unless you're uh, trying to cap, like, Alpha, and uh, you say, oh, like, oh, we're losing Charlie. I mean, if you're, if you're over there capping Alpha, you don't got to, you know, stop and go run, I don't know how many meters it is. It's really, really far, like, I don't know, like, four or five hundred meters, something like that, um, all the way to go cap Charlie, but... Uh, you know, if you're if you're at Bravo and it's pretty secure, and you're losing and you're losing Charlie, I mean, usually I take off for it. <laughs> I mean, why not? It's it's an objective, and uh, if you lose it, then uh, the enemy team can spawn there. And generally on this map, if they hold the two outer flags, you're I mean in a bit sandwiched in. It's not as bad as other maps, but uh, it's always important to have a kind of a base uh, flag. Generally, the one near your spawn points the best, but a lot of guys like to go cap the opposite one. I generally don't have a problem with that, but that's just kind of my preference to hold the uh, flag that you spawn near. This was a really dumb move. I drove this Vodnik up here thinking I could see down the tunnel, but I didn't uh, drive it up far enough and uh, got hit right in the side by an RPG. Took out the support guy. I don't even know what he was doing. Running around that corner. Pop my head in this tunnel and then get the guy who tried to kill me. I then get in this Jeep, and I wasn't exactly sure where I was going to go. I thought I was going to back up and then uh, drive towards Alpha, but then I, at the last second as I was backing up, I was like, mm, no, I don't really, don't really want to do that. So I just kind of stopped and parked it there, <laughs> and I uh, was just kind of checking around, make sure there's uh, no kind of stray enemies uh, going to cap any flags. I take a lot of damage there from that vehicle blowing up, which, is, uh, which was quite annoying. But always checking these tunnels. I like to keep my... Uh, Looking, basically, I like to keep my gun up, looking down sides as I go through the tunnel. If you have a squad you're communicating with, it's really, really, well, I don't, maybe not really that important, but what I like to do is have one guy basically stare down the tunnel to where, you know, you kind of creep up till you can see the end. Two guys do that with your, uh, with your guns up, looking down sights. And as soon as both of you can see the end of the tunnel, one of you will take off running towards the end, and one of you will slowly push up with your, uh, with your sights down towards the door of the uh, of the entrance. That's just to cover your teammate when he uh, when he runs down there. And uh, if uh, one of you is assault, make sure the assault guy stays back so he's not the first one to get taken out. So in case the first guy that runs up there does die, the assault can come behind and uh, pick him back up. So now we've taken both the Bravo and Charlie flag and are pushing up towards the Alpha flag, which... Uh, Right here, I was, you know, it was kind of one of those debates where, do I want to push up towards Alpha? And if you think about the situation, they're losing, like, tickets faster than we are now. Like, we're not losing any tickets because uh, because they have more cap uh, flags capped. With the, the roles are reversed, excuse me. So there really is no reason to push up to Alpha. And plus, the more you push up, the more likely that a, uh, a enemy or two will sneak behind you and uh, go cap another flag, such as the Bravo or Charlie flag. Right here, this tank was almost dead, so I'm going to come back and repair it and bring him back to full health, which is a huge help because it, he kind of keeps the vehicles, the enemy vehicles, out of the, uh, the tunnel entrance and provides a kind of a huge kind of threat and, uh, and roadblock for any uh, infantry coming through there. They get, usually got to deal with the tank unless they are... Uh, Unless they're kind of pretty smart and use the tunnels, but uh, generally I like to keep the infantry in the tunnels and the vehicles towards the middle. Kind of control the bigger sections with the bigger vehicles and let the uh, little guys handle the small parts of the map. So I'm coming around this corner. I know there's a lot of guys. I don't see one. Go ahead and pick him off. Reload. Nice. Got the squad right. White ribbon. <laughs> Can't talk. I'm really sorry. I cannot talk tonight. But uh, oh, oh, there's a couple more guys running over there. Going to reload. Come around this corner. What do we have here? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of them. I'll take that triple spray. But unfortunately, I got taken out if I, and when I was going for the last kill. And uh, during the time I died and it came back, an enemy snuck and uh, snuck by us to go capture Bravo. And we had an idiot teammate who was laying down in the tunnel looking out towards B. And uh, you, can't, you can't go by him, so... <laughs> 
he was just sitting there while they were capping the flag. It's like, dude, get up and either get in the capture zone or move so we can, you know, run through the tunnel. But he didn't. He was stupid, so we all had to run around to go capture B. And at this point of the game, it's pretty close. I think they're about double our ticket count, but uh, we just neutralized the Bravo flag. So now no one will be losing tickets because uh, we all have an equal number of flags until just now we captured Bravo. Now their ticket count will be dropping, uh, dropping because we have more flags capped than they do. This point of the game, I was just kind of like, oh, it's definitely possible. It is definitely possible. Earlier on, I was a bit skeptical. I thought, well, maybe they were going to go take the scout chopper around and go cap a flag, which is a very good tactic to use. Just be careful, though. I really wouldn't recommend uh, landing the uh, the chopper on the ground since uh, scout helicopters are pretty vulnerable to fire. Uh, like even, even small arms firepower, they don't have much protection. It's a pretty open uh, cockpit. You can see through it, and uh, any kind of guns will do a lot of damage to them. It's good to just jump out and uh, basically just land and then have a uh, chopper pilot circle around while a few infantry cap the point. But now, after I died that last time and spawned in, we have got two flags and have neutralized the third. The enemy has no flags at all, and their ticket count is dropping really fast. And for the first time this game, we have taken the lead when it matters most. And finally, we pull off the win. I could not believe it. It was a really exciting game. I played with some of you guys out there that watched my videos, and it was a lot of fun. I hope you all enjoyed. And... Uh, didn't do didn't do a bad job didn't have a great game but uh, didn't do a bad job either so i got a nice little message here uh after the game was over that i thought i should deserve a response but uh yeah it was quite fun and uh, hopefully i'll get a lot more uh, good footage for episode two of the russian versus american weapons i've gotten some so far and actually i hadn't even planned on posting this uh this gameplay today but I when I got it I was like oh my goodness this is amazing so uh, I had to put it up but uh, I might try to post some vehicle footage I know I kinda don't really like to use vehicles that much I'm not a huge uh, huge vehicles guy but I might do some tank footage in the future so uh, I hope you all enjoy and I'll talk to you next time bye